What's up family? I just left the gym and I get this comment quite often and the question is what is the difference between abstinence and celibacy? Honestly, to be real with you, they mean the same thing to me. It's a different way of saying that you are not sexually active or you are not participating in the sexual activities. It's just another term. But most people act like this is such an impossible thing to do. It's truly not a Ripley's Believe It or Not moment here. It's not hard, but most people act like it is. They act like this is impossible. What I'm doing is so impossible. Being abstinence or being celibate or not participating in the sexual activities because we live in a culture where sex is a true identity. We are just so wrapped up in it. We operate from it. We are just very carnal when we are thinking right now. It's really not impossible. I really think you will continue to live if you decide for a season, for a couple months, for a couple years, or a life changing movement to not participate in it. You're not gonna die. Because look at me, I'm still alive and well. And I feel like life has been beautiful. It has been great. I have learned about myself. I have stepped into my own identity and I have been able to define what life looks like for me with the way I'm choosing to live. And I have no attachment here. I am not enmeshed with anybody's drama or anybody's bullshit. I am like a free bird. And that is the truth that I seek in this journey is to be a truth seeker and to be a truth teller and honestly for freedom. I don't want to have any type of bondage here and sex can bring a lot of bondage towards you if you are not responsible and if you are not picky and if you're not selective. I've been at it for so long and now at this moment, just the way the world is going, it's really easy to close down shop and to keep it closed because when you know your worth, you are a unicorn. And when you are a unicorn, you don't just hang with horses. You are going to continue to skip, jump, fly high, whatever it goes your own way. Just like if you are an eagle flying high, you're not gonna get low and hang with pigeons. You're just not gonna do it. Because guess what, you might catch the monkey box. So you're not gonna even do that to yourself when you really have been mastering yourself. It's going to take a lucky motherfucker to even get near me, to get close to me, or to even touch me. Because you know, I see so many benefits truly not participating in the madness, in the foolishness. I just I just see so much because I'm free from soul ties, I'm free from attachments, I'm free from bondage. I am just living free the best way possible. Closing down shop has so many different type of benefits by doing it because honestly, to be real, business is still booming even when the shop is closed, if you know what I'm saying. Business is booming. Multiple streams going in. <laughs> but you have to do what is best for you. You don't have to do what the world is doing. You can be in this world, but not of it. You don't have to operate from your carnal mind. You can be human and experience life differently. I've tried it, I did it, it wasn't for me. Now I can move accordingly. Now I can do other things that brings me happiness and brings me peace and that enlightens me. But I'm not gonna do anything that sets me back or cause hardship or stress me out. I'm not gonna do it. So that is what abstinence and celibacy means to me. It's just another terminology that you are not participating in the sexual activities and you're not sexually active out here. It's not hard. It's quite easy when you have identified your worth here as a human. 
you are enough and you are valid and you don't need anything outside of you to prove that to you. You don't have to prove your love to anybody by giving your body away if you don't want to. Our body is our biggest investment and our prized possession. So do as you wish and play this game accordingly. <laughs>